What's good YouTube? Vikasa Kavi here. So we got a request from Way with this one. It's some Tim mention you on a three minute song. This is the Conan version and there is a specific lyric sheet for this version. So we do have the lyrics pulled up even though this is not the original version. I am going to probably check out the original version as well because this version is going to be different than that. So we'll see what Tim does on the Conan version of the three minute song. I'm interested to see. He's an interesting artist, man. You never know what to expect with him. I don't know ever what to expect going into a song with this guy at this point. Every song we've done by him had its own vibe, had a different vibe than the last one. The way he attacks stuff is really creative. He's a very incredible lyricist, very talented piano player. Amazing stage presence. He's also got a very nice comedic aspect to him as an artist, and I appreciate that as well. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, stage performance, lighting. I like on the whole nine yards. I'm busting the lyrics down for you guys. So we're going to dive into this for you. Thank you for being here. I always say in every video, if you are struggling with a mental health or an addiction problem, please go get professional help. It's available. There are people who care and want to see you do better. I had to do it for myself, and now I'm coming up on 18 months without alcohol, and I have over four years sober from hard drugs like pills and stuff like that so it's been a hell of a journey for me but you can pull yourself out of it and you can settle into the things you want to actually do with your life and have a good time with that and inspire other people to do the same thing as well that's what it's all about on here so we're going to get into this for you way Thank you for another awesome request on Vacasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. We got Tim Mentions three minutes song. Next guest is a uh, very talented Australian comedian who could be seen Wednesday at the Lobero Theater in Santa Barbara and at the Balboa Theater in San Diego this Thursday. Please welcome back to our program the very talented Tim Minchin. Hey, Clock. My people rang me up a couple of weeks ago Yeah, I've got people and a phone and a grasp on the passage of time Yeah, they rang me up, said, Tim, do you want to go on Conan's show? They want you to sing a song, baby, it'll be fine, fine, fine But the problem... I get the concept. So is the three-minute song, like, something that Tim will freestyle in different instances depending on the circumstance that he's playing it in. That seems like the idea behind it with how he's approaching it on a Conan right here. He even has the timer. My people rang me up a couple weeks ago. I got people in a phone, a grasp on the passage of time. They rang me up and said, Tim, do you want to go on Conan's show? They want you to sing a song, baby. It'll be fine, fine, fine. <laughs> He's such an interesting lyricist. You never know what direction he's going to throw something in. I love that he has conversations inside of his lyrics. They want you to sing a song, baby, it'll be fine, fine, fine. But the problem with my particular oeuvre is that half my songs are five minutes and oeuvre. And they say on USA TV that you will switch off if you go past three. And a lot of my songs have a bit of bad language, which causes viewers untold anguish. I'm told your tolerance for smart does not extend beyond the Golden Girls and two and a half men. <sighs> He's a genius, man. It's so proper. Like, his approach to it is so proper. He's like, he's he's exposing the stereotypes of an um, of American audience, right, from an Australian perspective, and what he gets told through the grapevine and what he sees when he looks at it. 
And I love the way he said it here. He says, but the problem with my particular Uber is that half my songs are five minutes and over. And they say on USA TV that viewers switch off if you go past three. Hell, it's worse now. It's worse now. TikTok and YouTube shorts got invented. And now it's like freaking hard to get anybody to watch something for longer than a minute. It's crazy, man. Said, and a lot of my songs have a bit of bad language, which causes viewers untold anguish. I'm told your tolerance for smut does not extend to beyond the Golden Girls and Two and a Half Men. That is a bar. Tim's got bars. I tell you guys that in every video that we break his lyrics down. And he's got, like, hip-hop level bars whenever it comes to his pen game level. And I love that about him. Golden Girls and Two and a Half Men. And so I need a song that only goes for three minutes without no boobs or blasphemy in it. A charming okay. little ditty that won't raise the rates of the hearts of the people in the pious states. I need a song <laughs> with a chorus and a verse without no nasty cussing and a cursing. I'm a little too lewd and a little too long. I gotta write myself a three minute song. <laughs> Life goes on for a little bit of a while. That's what I feel like I'm listening to right now. He took that kind of cadence. You guys know what I'm talking about. That, like, classic sort of mainstream country style upbeat cadence. He just did it there. <laughs> That's funny. The way that he could switch up like that, he turned his whole flow into a, like a, a gallop, right? That's the best way to describe it. He started galloping with his word play and his placement there. It's very creative, man. I love it. I love it. He said, need a song that only goes for three minutes without no boobs or blasphemy in it. That's bars right there. Fucking bars. A charming little ditty that won't raise the rates of the hearts of the people in the pious states. He is dissing the American audience directly to their faces on national television, and I love it. I fucking love that for him. Because it's, the, see, the thing is that Americans, whenever you bring somebody like Tibbet to the picture and you understand his shtick and his little niche that he's in with himself it becomes absolutely hilarious that he would get on national television and do this. And I totally understand why Conan had him on to do this and why they called him. I wonder if they knew this is what he was going to do. I wonder if they went into it as a surprise for even themselves, right? He said, I need a song with a Chorus and a verse without no nasty cussing and a cursing. I'm a little too lewd and a little too long. I gotta write myself for three minutes. <laughs> I'm a little too lewd and a little too long, he said. <laughs> said, my songs are too fucking long. I write songs that ain't less than three minutes. They're always more than four. <laughs> Rates of the hearts of the people in the pious states. I need a song with a chorus and a verse without no nasty cussing and a cursing. I'm a little too lewd and a little too long. I gotta write myself a three minute song. And they said, Remember, boy, that music is like love making. It's simply self indulgent to take it past three minutes. Remember, boy, that music is like love making. Everybody loves a penis, but length must have a limit. So you need a song. He's too witty for his own good, man. It's brilliantly crafted. So beautiful. I love this. He's a hell of an artist, man. And they said, remember, boy, that music is like love making. It's simply self-indulgent to take it past three minutes. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> Remember, boy, that music is like love making. This is wonderful. This is wonderful right here. He said, everybody loves a pianist, but length must have a limit. <laughs> Tim doesn't know what limits are, man. I'll tell you what. We've had some moments with this guy. 
Will you self-indulge him to take it past three minutes? Remember, boy, that music is like lovemaking. Everybody loves a penis, but length must have a limit. So you need a song that only goes for three minutes without no pornography or politics in it. A little hey. less rude and more concise. Just be yourself, but brief and nice. 300 beats at 100 beats a minute with... Oh my goodness, I love that he turned it into a bit. Like, that's fucking hilarious. That he made the three-minute song a whole bit. I, I like that he, the context of being used in an American fashion makes it really funny. I want to hear the original now, because I'm sure that it's much different in the other versions. God knows. Give Tim Minchin three minutes to have to say as much as possible, and God knows what will come out of his mouth. <laughs> for real. Need a song that only goes for three minutes without no pornography or politics in it. A little less rude and more concise. Just be yourself, but brief and nice. <laughs> it's like he's trying to attend a royal fucking ball. Is the <laughs> Tim Minchin acting appropriate and inside of a pocket is like... Asking him to attend the royal ball. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, bro. Epic. I love his approach to this. It's very creative. It's very creative. I like this. A little less rude and more concise. Just be yourself, but brief and nice. 300 beats at 100 beats a minute with the nice clean jokes and a hoe down in it. I'm a little hey. verbose and a little bit wrong. I gotta write myself a clean living three minute song. He said 300 beats at 100 beats a minute with the nice clean jokes and a hoe down in it. The hoedown referring to that galloping kind of flow that he's doing that I mentioned earlier, saying it reminded me of, like, the mainstream classic country kind of flow, right? <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He just told you. <laughs> he's too funny, man. He's too funny. I'm a little verbose and a little bit wrong. I gotta write myself a clean living three minute song. A clean living three minute song. What a way to word it. Clean living, he says. Sound a little bit wrong. I gotta write myself a clean living three minute song. And even in the bridge, I won't be lyrically adventurous, conceptually contentious, or racially offensious, and I won't make double entendres at the expense of that Chinese. For China is a country that can bring me to my knees. For China, for China, for China, for China, for China is a country that will bring me to my knees. Or God, he's brilliant, dude. He found a way to throw a fucking sexual innuendo in there and make it political at the same time. <laughs> this guy's too fucking funny, bro. My goodness. He lied. He's a liar. He lied to us. Everything he said at the beginning of this bridge was a lie. <laughs> he said, and even in the bridge, I won't be lyrically adventurous, conceptually contentious, or racially offentious. What a string of words. That is beautifully crafted right there. He said, and I won't make double entendres at the expense of the Chinese, which he is about to do. For China is a country that can bring me to my knees. And then he says, for China, for China, for China, for China. Obviously, we're all smart enough to know what that sounds like. For China is a country that will bring me to my knees. <laughs> 
He's too fucking funny, bro. He's too good. <sighs> My goodness. Right, ladies, you have periods, we get it. <laughs> Two, three, four, skin. I need a little happy, clappy country song. Nice and Oh, they really let him get away with this, huh? They let him get away with this on national TV. Repetitive and not too long. Boring enough, but not too boring. With a key change here to prevent me snoring. I need a song that only goes for three minutes. Without no vulgarity of vulvas in it. You don't get lost by lingering. But I better get a giggle with my finger ring. This guy's one of the best lyricists on the planet. I mean, really, realistically. That's all I have to say about him. Every time I listen to him, he just impresses me even more. Because his wordplay is so damn good. The way he... His thought process behind stringing words together is very advanced. He has a very advanced lyrical mind going on. And this is extremely creative because he just went all in at the end here with no fucks given. He says, for China is a country that will bring me to my knees. All right, ladies, you have periods. We get it. Two, three, four skin, he says. I need a little happy clappy country song, nice and repetitive and not too long, boring enough but not too boring with a key change here to prevent me from snoring, he says. I need a song that only goes for three minutes, he says, without no vulgarity or vulvas in it. You don't get laughs by lingering, but I better get a giggle with my fingering. This guy is out of control. Brilliant wordplay. Amazing wordplay. He might as well just become a rapper. <laughs> I need a song that costs no offense so I can vlog more tickets to my concerts in the hope that the network sticks me on. A late night show or a nice sitcom. You've got a box and I want to be in it and apparently you'll only watch for three minutes. Don't mind me, I'll be done in three. Exactly three minutes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Not perfect. That was a nice reaction. I liked that one a whole lot. That was a good song. The string of lyrics, he got he, he got through that really quickly. He had very little time to get this last string of lyrics down, and he really nailed it exactly three minutes. That was awesome. I need a song that causes no offense so I can flog more tickets to my concerts <laughs> in the hope that the network sticks me on a late night show or a nice sitcom. You got a box and I want to be in it. And apparently you'll only watch for three minutes. Don't mind me, I'll be done in three, he says. The double entendres inside of here. He made the whole thing a double entendre of innuendos and everything like that. Even though he said he's not going to do that. Right? <laughs> he's such a smart ass. I love that about him. I, I love his approach to his comedy. I love that he made it something different and special for the specific Conan performance for the obviously the audience in the States. Now I'm very interested to see what happens with this in other areas. Because if he's this bold with his approach to it on national television in the States. He is definitely extremely bold with this song in other circumstances, and I definitely want to see where we go with that. So if you guys have sp a specific like performance or version of it that you'd like to see, leave it down in the comments for me because I will definitely cover it for you. This was freaking awesome awesome right here i gotta leave a like on this video i really enjoyed this a whole lot this is a freaking awesome song tim Minchin never disappoints way i appreciate your request man thank you so much for this request
like I always say, if you're struggling with mental health or addiction, anything like that, please go get professional help for yourself. Figure out new hobbies and things that you like to do and then use those things as something to build on in your life. And maybe you can like create your own company or create your own thing that you want to do. Starting a YouTube channel can be beneficial if you're good at talking about like motivation and stuff like that. It's always a good route to take to help other people and everything like that. It's easy to get a message out there with the platforms that we have nowadays. You just have to dedicate yourself to doing it and finding the people that need to hear the words that you have to say. And if you really dedicate yourself to it. You can affect a lot of people and you can bring a lot of joy and happiness and inspiration into people's lives who might be struggling and they can go change their lives as well and be inspired to do that for themselves through hearing your own story and everything like that. And I want to encourage all of you, if you are struggling, to please go do that for yourself so that you can see the better side of life and see that there is much more to life than being stuck inside of negative cycles and things that cause you to not follow your dreams and everything like that. I really appreciate you guys supporting my recovery journey. It means the world. Thanks for supporting the reactions, my music. You guys support my music as well. It really means the world to me. The original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Mr. Tim Minchin. Support all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Get the music out into the world. Relate it to our own lives. It's never a disappointing time with Tim. He's always got something great for us. And the way this was an awesome request, like I said, leave other versions of this if you have specific ones you like in the comments for this video. And we'll get to that for you as well. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.